Welcome to the virtual exhibition of the new arts organization, the Inspiration Art Group International. We are honored and pleased to introduce our program host, Bettina Wilkerson, who we know and love as Poet Gold. She is one of New York State's esteemed Poet Laureates. Now over to you, take it, Poet Gold. Thank you so very much. Welcome everyone to the virtual exhibit featuring the work of Art Women at Work, Artists of Inspiration Art Group International, with 22 multidisciplinary artists, both nationally and internationally. The exhibit is available to view for a full year, 365 days on the inspirationartgroup.org website. And the artwork is also available for sale and poetry is available as commissioned works. Please become acquainted with each artist by visiting their artist profile, also available on the website, inspirationartgroup.org. I'm your host, Poet Gold. Allow me to share a poem before we introduce our montage video by Mary Smith, titled Merriness of May. Please keep, please keep in mind, we are sharing through Zoom technology, which on occasion comes with a few glitches that are beyond our control. Hopefully this will be smooth sailing. Now for my poem, ends and begins. All life ends and begins and ends and begins again. All life ends and begins and ends and begins again. It begins. With the new dawn, the buzzing chirping, glistening morning dew reflects the rains of the sun. Wings cupping and clapping, the butterflies dance, gently landing on flowers amongst the plants. Moments of cacophony, transition to harmony, melodious, the story knows the song that's sung that sings. All life ends and begins and ends and begins again. All life ends and begins and ends and begins again. All life ends and begins and ends and begins again. All life ends and begins. Thank you. So now for our montage video.
what a beautiful body of work and trailer video produced by Mary Smith. Thank you so much for that. Now for the introduction of the artist. Artist, I'd like you when I call your name, please state where you are from and your artistic medium. Be sure to unmute yourself and then mute yourself at the end of your statement. Alice Harrison. Hi, I am delighted to be part of this exhibition. I'm a mixed media artist, uh, two dimensional and some books. Uh, and I'm from Morristown, New Jersey. Thank you, welcome for being, thank you for being here, Alice. Bridget Pavolo. Hi, uh, I'm an illustrator and I live in South Salem, New York. Thank you, Bridget. And just to say, mention that Bridget is also our, our master behind the scenes of our technology. Carol Schwartz is not present with us today. Cassandra Jennings Call. Is Cassandra here? I'm here. Oh, she is here. Yes. Cassandra Jennings Hall. I am a abstract artist, acrylic on canvas and paper, and some collage. I live in Teaneck, New Jersey. Welcome, Cassandra. Uh, Corinne Lappin Cohen. Hi, I live in Katona, New York, where I maintain a studio and I also teach. Um, I am an artist who works in oil paint predominantly or watercolor, um, botanicals. I've been well schooled in and nature is always my source of inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Ellen Plitskin. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Ellen Plitskin coming to you from my studio on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. I'm a painter working in watercolors with gouache and color pencils on paper. And I'm also a printmaker producing magical silk aquatint monoprints, which I further embellish with color pencils and crayons. Thank you, Ellen. Jenna Lash. Is Jenna with us today? Yes, I am. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Thank oh, okay. Hi, I'm Jenna Lash. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. I live in New York City. I paint in oil and acrylics, mostly on canvas, and my work it reinterprets global currency. Thank you. Karen Fitzgerald is not present. Karen Lafleur. Good morning, everyone. I'm Karen Lafleur from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I'm a tech expressionist, digital artist, writer, and animator. Welcome, Karen. Khadija Zizi. Hello, good morning, Khadija Zizi from Rabat, Morocco. I uh, work basically with acrylics and I do mixed media on canvas. Thank you. Welcome, Khadija. Leslie Kamito. Is Leslie with us? She's not here today. All right, Leslie's not present. Lisa Bresnick. Hi, uh, I'm Lisa Bresnick. I'm in my studio now in Peekskill, New York. Um, I live in the uh, Delaware Water Gap area of Pennsylvania. And I work in uh, ceramic uh, sculpture, miniature mostly, and uh, I paint and gild them. They're anthropomorphized abstract pieces based on whatever is catching my interest right now. It percolates up through my subconscious. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Marlo Shami. Is Marlo here with us? I thought she was here. No? Okay. I am. I am sorry. I was having trouble here. Um, hi, Marlo Shami. I'm in Goshen, Connecticut. Um, I collaborate with the natural world in both my digital canvas work, which is animation and still as well as my writing. Thank you, Marlo. Mimi Chaska Kraminski is not present. Nalini Rowe. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Nalini Rao from New York. I'm super excited about being here, the opening of Inspiration Art Group International, the brainchild of Bibiana. And uh, I am a classical dancer, Indian classical dancer, Bharatanatyam. 
and I'm also a poet and I draw my inspiration from nature and what is happening around the world. And I'm super passionate also about bringing about a new social order where all are equal. Mm, thank you, Nalini. Nikki Ketchum. Hi, I'm Nikki Ketchman. I live in Westport, Connecticut and work in Westport, Connecticut. I do two and three dimensional work, sculpture and works on canvas and on paper, all of which are in mixed media. Welcome, Nikki. Osama Manur is not present. Sienna Gillan Porter is not present. Sophie Simpson. Hi, um, I am from uh, Hillsdale, New York, and I work in uh, oil pastels. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya Kukuchka. Hello, my name is Tanya Kukuchka, and um, I live in New York, and I'm a painter and a sculptor. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being present. Pam Smilo. Is Pam Smilo with us? I believe she was here earlier. Did lose connection? She's she's not here. Okay. All right. Her connection. Okay. And so I'd now like to introduce, last but not least, Nancy Tucker. And before I make the introduction, just want to share a few things about Nancy, uh, who will be sharing an original composition as well, entitled The Earth, My Home. Uh, Nancy Tucker on voice and guitar is a musician. Nancy Tucker is an accomplished guitarist, a composer, lyricist, and humorist with a lifelong career of, of live performances and recording for both children and adults. Her song, the Earth, My Home is an original composition. Nancy Tucker. Hello. Um, this is a song I wrote about the celebration of the Earth. Thank you, Poet Gold. You're welcome. The earth, my home, is a spinning top We'd all fall off if it ever stopped Our hearts are firmly planted here Gravity holds us near The earth, my home, is an ancient place For billions of years, it's circled in space white and blue and green and brown humming with living sounds it's the perfect planet to hang your hat the perfect balance of habitats a delicate dazzling heavenly sphere guitars falling off my shoulder Thankful to be here. The earth, my home, is a living soul, abundant with rabbits and crickets and crows, redwoods and seaweeds, amoebas and frogs, lizards and prairie dogs. It's the perfect planet to hang your hat, the perfect balance of habitats, a delicate, dazzling, heavenly sphere. We're grateful to be here. This tender planet, this earth my home, Wherever I wander, I'm never alone. Take only memories, leave only love, and honor the spirit of the earth, my home. The earth, my home. The earth, my home. 
the earth my home absolutely wonderful nancy thank you so much you know we uh, must honor always our mother earth it's just the only planet that we have so with that said, let's begin our great exhibit. I'm going to take myself off camera and uh, we're gonna bring up the show and I will introduce each piece of work with the artist statement. Ellen Plitskin, top clue, watercolor gouache pencil on paper. Sunlight reflecting off a sun-drenched wall with a mysterious view to an interior courtyard. Marlo Shami, Homage to Taroxicum, a short animation. Homage to Taroxicum celebrates the many forms of joy of the dandelion plant. The plant is a mainstay in my yard and kitchen and heart. Edible, medicinal, and inspirational, the dandelion offers abundant gifts, eliciting deep gratitude and care. Absolutely wonderful animation and and yes, the sound makes all of the difference, even though it's a beautiful piece of a standalone, but the sound really popped and made it bring forward. Thank you so much. So next we have Bridget Pavolo, birds. It's important to pause, reflect, and admire the little things in life. Tanya Kakuchka, Vernal Equinox, Acrylic on Canvas. On the Vernal Equinox, we experience an equal balance of sunlight and darkness in a single day. On this day, we honor the eternal cycle of darkness, giving way to the triumph of the light. Pam Smilo, Floating House Series, Mixed Media on Canvas. This piece is part of a new series called the Floating House Series. It is based on a photograph I took of a construction site where the builders actually hiked up an old house and built a foundation under it. It gave the appearance that the house was floating in air. Carol Schwartz, spring bag, computer drawn print. Karen Lefleur, Kalaaki, sing summer awake, digital artwork, joy in summer's arrival.
Sienna Gillen Porter, reflected in a pan of stars, mixed media. This work was inspired by a contemporary haiku that ends with the phrase, reflected in a pan of stars. Having experienced a similar moment while looking down at a bowl of orange juice during a meditation retreat, reflecting a star-shaped ceiling light, I was caught by the haiku's graphic visual image. Literally, I have created a bowl lit from within, which catches long streamers of metallic stars. Ellen Klitskin, Passageway, Aquatint Monoprint. A long view down a passageway in a hillside village in Cinque Terre. Khadija Zizi, Pharaoh, Media on Canvas. The Pharaoh tells the story of my mother's family. Her family name was Baninese, and she used to tell me that the Baninese have many branches and that our branch was named the Pharaoh. So when I pasted those fabric pieces that belonged to her, I thought about her story. So I named my painting the Pharaoh as a tribute to her. Lisa Bresnik, Compassion, Fired Clay Paint, 22 Karat Gold Leaf. Compassion from a series several years back of abstract, abstracted and amorphified botanicals, titled after I made it for me, it embodies the figure and the stance of Kwa Ying, the goddess and Bodhisattva that embodies the qualities of mercy and compassion. An ascendant master, she chose to return to the earth to heal and console. Kwa Ying example is needed more now than ever. Empathy, mercy, and compassion equal a universal, unconditional love. Leslie Kaniko, Dance of Spring, Photograph. At the music festival one spring, I witnessed some children dancing. The un this uninhibited little boy seemed so full of simple pleasures and joys of childhood. I thought, how brilliant in this is this moment of celebration and passion of life in this new season of cool shadows and warming light. Leslie Canito. Bringing oil on canvas. The spring showers stir up the sea, bringing us a new season. Hints of green on the shoreline together with and fish celebrating in the sky imply this festival of renewal. Jenna Lash. Cosmic Currency Series, Cosmic Currency number 15, Oil on Canvas. The fragmented dynamic of atomized paint marks constantly expands. Inner tension from vibrating energy impacts and outward thrusts, splaying prisms from an art universe. The past, the present, the future, all connected? Cassandra Jennings Hall, Expansive Spring Two, Acrylic on Canvas. Each painting starts the same way. One selected color on the canvas initiates an idea that evokes the beginning from its, with its own composition and design. Teased and stimulated by these developments, I add one color on top of another, layering white pigment in between to create a textured image. Brush strokes create both rhythm and movement across the canvas. In these paintings, my aim is to describe life's emotions and represent nature's mysteries in a more tangible form. Mimi 
Chaska Kaminsky, moments, an art video. Green orbs dance on a field of white. Karen Fitzgerald, mica oil paint, Venetian plaster with silver on beautiful mounted on MDF panel. The ancient Greeks identified five essential forces. Four are well known, air, earth, water, and fire. This painting evokes the lightness and lighthearted qualities of this force. Alice Harrison, Winding River, Collage on Paper. Photography Collage on Paper Frame. Jenna Lash, Tiger Tiger, Acrylic on Canvas. From the Endangered Species series, based on the Indian 10 rupee note, now, in this year of the tiger, we need her strength, exorcism of evil, and braveness more than ever. Osias Munir, outspoken, oil on canvas. Outspoken is oil and wrinkled images. It is, as the name implies, bold with red being the basic color. The bird-shaped figure is turned toward the east like our sun. Birds usually fly free and seemingly within a figurative format. The yellow and white lines with black markings for me represent the struggles and deep pain I have carried since going on my life's road trip and learning how to better manage various mental disorders. Ellen Plitskin, English Garden, Silk Aquatent Monoprint. Looking at a summer's day through the dappled light of an English garden. Bridget Pavlo, Meditative Witch, Digital. My witchcraft series is dedicated to shedding a positive light on those subject matters while creating character designs in a various body type. Most of its history is entangled in sexism and the negativity of occultism that I strive to fight against. My goal is to bring peace of mind to others by sharing that others deserve to be represented. Naluni Ro, Joy and Serenity, Poetry, Words. The poem Joy and Serenity describes the joy I feel when I watch my mind and sense the vastness of the universe. The watcher and the watched merges and all thought ceases. Yet this space is alive, full of potential, vibrant. I'm in a different stage of life now, children grown, I have found a space within which I can access regardless of outside. I'm going to invite Nilani Rude to read her poem. Joy in serenity, the vast space within, pulsating, I watch in silence, a ripple of thought, spiral out, take form. I watch, silent, steeped in space, Alive, vibrant, I am joy. I am the watcher, yet one with this space. 
serenity seeps into me, ripples out into the universe, and yet I'm one with the space. I connect. My joy spirals out into the vastness. I am the space. I am joy, alive to this moment, timeless. Beautiful, Nalini. Thank you so much for sharing. Carol Schwartz, Egyptian head, wood. Wood assembled, carved, and painted. Nikki Ketchman, porous sunken garden, plywood, roofing, steel rods, aluminum mesh, vinyl tubing, and paint. Cora was a professional interior designer and had a great interest in gardening. She worked at the New York Botanical Garden in the Bronx well into her 80s. She created the sunken garden that still exists in some form today. My sculpture is loosely based on the planting plan that is pictured in the cultural landscape report for Weir Farm National Historic Site. The garden had a path separating the curving beds of flowers. And my sculpture is a path in the shape of a woman's chorus silhouette. The two mounds bordering the path have walls of aluminum mesh facing the path and painted with colorful flowers. These could be interpreted as the garden or a dress. I created a bush like brush like surface, I'm sorry, a bush like surface on the outside of the mounds by weaving short pieces of vinyl wire. Viewers can walk on the path between the garden mounds and thus be in Cora's sunken garden. Tanya Kukuchka, I Heart You, acrylic on canvas. The heart is the center of the soul. To see with the heart is essential to our supreme happiness. Leslie Canito, peace to the spirit of spring, digital photograph. Spring holds for us a special freedom one which enables us to leave the house and take our winter spirit into the light, perhaps even into another dimension. Osiris Munir, yellow fingers, green thumbs, oil on canvas, no brush, just fingers and thumbs. Yellow fingers and green thumbs was painted with my fingers and thumbs. The feeling is to completely let go and allow the hands to move without thinking. Green, yellow, red, brown, and other tones are mindful of Mother Earth and all that she gives us so that we can sustain ourselves. Oil is my favorite medium. When I use it, it feels like food and I feel very connected to it. Kareem Lappin Cohen, final grand finale on canvas. These paintings are part of the Balance in Motion series, visualizations of the busyness of our lives and the act of finding joyful energy, centeredness, and balance. Sophie Simpson, faces, portraits, pastel on paper. I'm not good with recognizing faces. I've had a hard time matching faces to people, but I draw these without references, faces from my imagination or my subconscious. Their whole existence is only in their visible aspect. aspect. Seeing them is interchangeable with knowing them. They're different people, but they're selves, Portraits to images of faces of people outside myself refracted through my own limited idea of their internal world.
Pam Smilo, Tree of Life, Green and Green Gold, Mixed Media on Canvas, part of Pam Smilo's Tree of Life series. Kareem Lappin Cohen, Sunflower Painting, Oil Painting on Canvas with Silver Point Detail. Where have all the flowers gone? This image represents the need to preserve and protect our environment, the earth, water, and air. In this painting, the sunflower is missing with only the memory of its color remaining. The silver point details will continue to tarnish and change, keeping this art alive. Today, this image is also meant as a tribute to the Ukrainian people, their strength and beauty in this current struggle. Bibiana Wong Matai, Sunflower, Archival Pigment Print on Cotton Rag. Yellow and blue, the colors of Ukraine cry out for peace. The innocent wheat while the sunflowers of hope, their national flower, rise again. What a wonderful show. Let me just bring my video back here. Bravo, everyone. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful exhibit. What I'd like to do now, and I just want to thank you all, you know, for uh, for being present, and uh, thank you to our viewers for being present. Uh, we have quite a treat coming up for you uh, today. We welcome special guests for our virtual opening: the international renowned roots and blues musician Erin Hart and her husband Jim Countryman on bass. I'm going to introduce Frank Mathis to take over this segment, who will host this segment, and just a little bit about Frank. Frank is the arts writer for the Inspiration Art Group International, where he publishes his column in other words. He is also the publisher of the music website, thecountryblues.com, and a regular contributing writer to the Living Blues magazine. Thecountryblues.com has now joined the Inspiration Art Group International as its newest wing. Take it away, Frank. Well, thank you, um, first of all, uh, what a wonderful presentation that was today with this amazing visual art and the animations and very beautiful and inspiring, especially in these times that we live in. And, you know, the connection between music and art is paramount and, and eternal. And I'm really happy that today we have two music elements to add on to the program. Uh, first of all, Nancy Tucker played beautifully, uh, such a lovely guitar player and singer songwriter. And I'm now um, going to introduce to you some very good friends of mine, Erin Harp and her husband, Jim Countryman. They run a little duo of acoustic music, traditional acoustic music called the Country Blues Duo. And um, I would say that, um, Erin, without exaggeration, is certainly one of the most important acoustic blues musicians today, men or women. She happens to be a woman, so I don't want to make it sound like, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the best women. No, she's one of the best, period. And I think you will concur with me on that. So we're going to bring them on uh, to close the show to perform a song for you. But first, today we are going to debut a video that we've just done here in our own home as Aaron and Jim were recently touring and performing regionally. And they stayed here with the, in the house with us and we recorded this video. It's part of the parrot sessions. And if you are listening to me now, you will hear the parrots and they are ever present. And so therefore, in order to give them proper credit, we call it the parrot session. And <laughs> they were chiming in uh, for that right at this moment. So without further ado, Bridget, um, who has done a terrific job here today, is going to 
play the video for you. And then you're going to meet these very fine musicians right here on the Inspiration Art Group International. Take it away, Bridget. Hi, I'm Erin Hart. And I'm Jim Countryman. And this is our country blues duo. We're going to do an old Lonnie Johnson tune that I learned from my dad, Neil Hart. This one is called Winnie the Whaler.
she doesn't wear ooh, ooh, ooh. No All right, well, wasn't that something? Yeah, beautiful. You know, that's a, that's a really lovely video and it was a lot of fun to do with you. So uh, welcome, Jim and Aaron from way up there in Boston um, with hey. the beautiful guitars hanging behind you. So, you know, Aaron, I, I wanna talk to you just a little bit before we get you to perform a song for us. And perhaps, you know, the people may not know anything about you. So tell us a little bit about where you're from and how you learned to play guitar and sing the way that you do. Sure. Well, um, as you said, we live up in Boston now, which uh, is far away from the rest of my family. My family, I grew up down in Ma Maryland, right in the, the suburbs of Washington, D.C., and my dad is a, well, actually my dad's a visual artist too. He's a printmaker, but he also plays guitar and uh, in the style of the Piedmont blues. And there's a big scene for that, um, that around Archie's Barbershop uh, in Washington, DC. So, so my dad uh, plays, you know, 1930s, uh, country blues and he taught me how to play that growing up so like I said he taught me that song he's almost taught me every song in our country blues uh, <laughs> duo set list <laughs> except for the ones that I've written yeah well you've written some good songs yourself so um, it's really great to have you here and hopefully we will have more music as part of these ongoing virtual and, and live exhibitions so um do you want to play one for us so that we can close up this wonderful show today and tell us about what you're going to play and who wrote the song and such? Sure. Well, we were, we were inspired by the parrot sessions. And if you saw me at the end of the video, I, I looked over to the side because I was looking at the parrot because I thought, he was, I thought she was going to chime in, but we actually have a song about a bird that is, I like to feature a lot of songs by the women of the country blues. And these were women that played guitar very early in, uh, you know, the American guitar canon, I guess. So there, there were not a lot of women playing, but there were a few. And one of them is Gishi Wiley. And she actually did this a duet with another woman, L.B. Thomas. And not a lot is known about them, but they have some wonderful songs. And this one is called Pick Poor Robin Clean. So this goes out to the parrots and the women of the country blues. Thank you. 
Awesome. Thank you so much. It's a real pleasure to have you on, Jim on bass, Jim Countryman, uh, keeping that steady beat. And thank you, Erin Harp. You should check out her website. Of course, she has CDs to sell and download. And, uh, you know, if you uh, ever want to lift your spirit, you know, the blues has a reputation as being sad music, but it's actually the antidote to sadness, as you could see right here. On, on this wonderful performance. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me and uh, Aaron and, and Jim to the show, but uh, I think others are gonna close it out. So thank you very much. Thanks for having us. I really enjoyed the presentation. Great, great work, everybody. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Jim. I, you had me up, I posted on Facebook. You had me up off my seat, off my stool <laughs> here. You know, just, just swaying to your blues. I really, truly, truly enjoyed it. What a lovely way to end the program today. Thank you to all the artists for being present. And of course, uh, you know, I want to give the last word to our curator, uh, Bibiana Wong Matais, who's the, the visionary uh, behind this and who supplies us with this wonderful muse that's behind me, my, my uh, virtual background. And so, Bibi, let me turn it over to you. Hi everyone, thank you for this wonderful show and our Inspiration Art Group International is launched on March 1st. So we're going on our second month and thanks. And now I think we have about 90 artists join us. And of course you just hear this program knowing that we have poetry, we have music, we have visual art and you know, in two dimensional and three dimensional, we welcome artists in all area to join us. And, and I just also like to thank my uh, webmaster, Mary Smith, who putting this uh, things together. And now officially our uh, Mirrorness of May virtual exhibit is open, as you can see now. And usually I pull up a muse painting. This month is actually a lot of dots. And that's what, and the show you see here today have lots and lots and lots and lots of dots, everything. And this is our show. And also I'd like to show you our, um, our website, our homepage. And this is a international art group international. So it's about all of us who's in this program and, and everything you need to know is on the website and you can find it. And today we are very happy to welcome the Acoustic, Acoustic Lutes and Country Blues, the Country Blue to join us and hear up and they are linked to us now, just like Frank now is right next to me and linked to me all the time. So, um, we have all kinds of things on our website, you can see. And of course, most important is our artist group. And here's our artist group. And you click on any of this. And here we have people on our list. And I counted this morning, I think we have 90 already. And you can notice some of the people have name on the knees, have a line that means I have received their photograph of themselves and they statement and they work of their art. So if you haven't received that yet, you can go on the artist and you can go there items that need for artist directory and it will tell you what you need to send me and we will post it up. And also we have a very important today we have featuring all the art women at work. And this is our page of the art women at work. We have a long history and going back 17 years 
of all the exhibits and performance that we do. So thank you for the Art Women at Work. Today's show is fantastic. And, and also, and you can know about us on our about page. And I want to thank to all our board of director and our founding member, and especially all those volunteers that help us that make this happen. So, and enjoy this. Uh, oh, also for the artists, we also have something really nice for the artists called the announcement. So if you have program, exhibit, performance th that you want to share with us, and somehow this button don't work, and here it is. It's like today, oh, Sarah is in Dallas for the, for the, for the, um, for art fair and and we have you know all this people's exhibit and things like that so use that as your bulletin board to spray your your performance exhibit cds or whatever that you want to share with other artists so again this is about us all in this this whole thing and then of course you can read we have an essay section by frank here and talk about different um, different artists. We have lots of going on, and also you can check out his new website. No, and and also we have a culture trip coming up in May, twenty four, I believe, is the Tuesday, and we're gonna hear people around here, or you can come far away to join us. We'll be visiting the Buddhist monastery in Como, New York, and the Vasa College in. Poughkeepsie, New York, and, and then also view, view uh, Elza's exhibit in Vasta College. So thanks everybody. And, and I guess we will see you next time in, oh, I guess most important, I should tell you all what's coming is so exciting. It's so, so, so exciting. I have to share it to you. It's coming in June and we are going to have of uh, physical exhibitions and all to the different area in the Hudson Valley, including the Corton Fall Library in Corton on Hudson beginning in July. Mm -hmm. And the T-Town Reservation is gonna open up in a few weeks in, Os in, in Austin. And in September, we are so honored to be able to be in the Hudson Valley Museum of Contemporary Art, known as the HV Mocha in Peekskill. And then also in October, September, we might, we're going to be in, I'm still working on the detail in the, in the Wisconsin University, Western University of Connecticut, in Danbury, Connecticut. And we're working on the outdoor space to be shown in the War Peace Sanctuary in Wadzik, New York. So this is a wonderful thing for us all share to be physically exhibit and we have performance and everything coming up for that. So please tune in and check on us to see all this art expo that coming this year. So I guess that's much as I need to say. And thanks everybody for joining us and we're gonna sign off live, but the artists can stay on. We're gonna open it up so artists can chat with each other and get to know each other. Thank you. Thank you, Bibiana. Bridget will take us off with the montage again.